Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it is time for the 19th monthly farm update. Besides leaving one episode out last month due to getting hacked, we do this on every first Tuesday of the month and talk through all the machines. Let's start with what everyone's talking about right now. Yes, markets are down. Or they aren't. Between writing the script and recording it, Bitcoin has jumped almost 30%. So we are in roller coaster times again. But still, this does not mean that nerds like us are giving up. I still believe in the projects I'm mining and I'm okay with paying my electricity bill out of my own pockets rather than giving up my mining earnings. So let's turn to the room. Downstairs you would not really know that I've been hacked as physically not much has changed. The L3 Plus is still off. Besides that, all the machines have stayed online through the hack and mining as well. First, I had my Bicycle Giant Plus offline for some days after the hack, as my lost Deep Onion hit me the hardest, but I've since then kept it on again. I was thinking of selling the machine and just buying Onion for the amount I'd still get for it, as I will never be able to recover what I've mined for almost 3 years non-stop, but I still somehow just could not get rid of the machine. Talking of selling, I did sell some of my smaller GPUs. So I basically stripped down one mixed mining rig and am now keeping one AMD rig and one Nvidia rig each online. So the AMD rig is mining Monero and we'll see the future of it once Monero turns to random X. And the Nvidia rig is mining Ion. Ion with an I that is as people are always asking if I mean Aeon with an E. Both Monero and Ion will have interesting updates in November and this will be exactly when I will be out of the country so meh. But we'll talk more about that a bit later. The F1 Mini is still running and also here I often get the question if it's still worth it to buy it now. Honestly folks, no one can answer this question as no one has a crystal ball to look into the future. But I can say that I don't regret it. We are still getting new algorithms and as folks have asked, no, you don't pay extra for the algorithm updates. So due to that fact and the fact that it only uses 50 watts of power, I will keep the little thing running and see what the future will bring for it. The Z9 Mini, even with lower power costs than I have, you are basically losing money right now daily with the little machine. The Equihash coins took the same hits as all of the altcoin market. So here it will depend if you believe in the projects you're mining and are positive on them in the long term. I myself am unsure about the machine and I've told you that already in earlier farm updates. I loved it for the small footprint and for all the content it gave me, but I am thinking of selling it, maybe even before I go on my travels, but I'll definitely keep you updated on that. Upstairs in my office there is still chaos since the hack, so besides losing valuable crypto, this was one of the hardest things. Getting back into a Linux was more difficult for me than expected, so I did not manage to rebuild my systems right away. I got my work PC running again to not lose out on more time and content, but my main crypto PC is still offline. Here I'm just waiting to finally find the time to recover what is left to recover. A positive update though, which I already told you in the last crypto mining mail episode, episode was though that I finally got myself a dedicated building space for the channel. I can tell you that this was one of the best decisions of this year. It finally gives me the opportunity to work on the projects whenever and however I want instead of always having to clean up my regular office space and again putting everything away after a filming session. So for the first time in the channel's existence I can work on different projects simultaneously and I still have to work that into my schedule as I'm still a one-man operation. But things already got much much easier for me. Besides that, just some personal info. This weekend was actually my birthday, so it was some nice and calm family time. I also wanted to ask you folks if I have viewers in the Montreal area, as I will be there in the end of November for two weeks with one of my bands. So if you're interested in extreme music, hit me up on Discord or social media. That is also one of the reasons why I'm trying to get ahead in terms of videos. I need three videos for that time in order to not leave you folks hanging with my weekly upload schedule. And right now I'm doing my best to get some head start. But to be honest, I never managed to do that before. So now I try to work my behind off to make it happen. Last but not least, I am still positive for mining and many upcoming projects. 
So thank you all for your continuous support for me and the channel. Always remember that we all are still early adopters and I'm sure that it will pay off for all of us working in the field. Next week we'll take a look at two unique pieces of hardware I want to showcase. But for today I say that I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!